So I'm pretty sure everybody has heard of salmonella. Hopefully most of you haven't had it because it's not a fun experience, but there is also a spicier type of salmonella that's beyond just the regular feeling bad food poisoning. This would be typhoid fever. Now typhoid fever is caused by a specific extra spicy strain of salmonella called salmonella typhi. Now, typhoid fever is different than typhus, which I previously talked about in a different video. It is caused by a different bacteria, so don't get the two confused. So this is the Salmonella typhi bacteria. It is what causes the typhoid fever. And starting out, it does have vaguely similar symptoms to regular Salmonella food poisoning, so not fun, but not too bad. These include things like slight fever, headache, stomach pain, and then either um, constipation or diarrhea, depending on the individual. Occasionally, there can also be things like coughing or development of some rash spot-like things. In severe cases, it can lead to things like gastrointestinal bleeding, where basically you bleed from your guts and that's not very fun, and can even lead to septicemia, which develops into septic shock, which left untreated will make you die. Now, fortunately, um, it is very easily treated with antibiotics right now. As of right now, it hasn't really developed antibiotic resistance, which is great. We love that. We love when we can kill it, um, bacteria with antibiotics. However, you may have heard about one of the worst salmonella outbreaks um, ever killed quite a lot of people. So back in the early 1900s, so like 1906 to 1907, there was a very big outbreak of the typhoid fever. Now, you may have heard of Typhoid Mary, and she is, or was, unfortunately, the cause of this. So Typhoid Mary, or Mary Malone, was a cook in during that time period. She lived in New York, um, and she again, she worked as a cook, but unfortunately, she was infected with this Salmonella typhi. Now, when you're infected by a bacteria, not all the time will there be symptoms. You can be an asymptomatic carrier, which means you have this disease, but you're not exhibiting any symptoms, but you can still spread it to other people. And now, very unfortunately for her, she was one of these asymptomatic carriers. Now, back then, germ theory was a thing, but it wasn't super widely accepted. So personal hygiene and cleanliness was not a super big deal then. So people like cooks, like Miss Mary over here, they did not have the same hygiene standards that we have today. And now if you know about salmonella and a bunch of other bacterial diseases, you know that they are quite commonly caused by improper hygiene. So a person infected with this salmonella and they don't wash their hands properly and they are touching other people's food, you're gonna give them salmonella. And that is exactly what happened. She was a cook, she was making food, she would give them that food to the people. The people that ate that food would get infected with this very serious typhoid fever and then they would die because antibiotics were not discovered yet. Now, Typhoid Mary, during her time as a cook, has been hypothesized to have infected as many as 50 people with at least three of them dying. Now, that doesn't seem like a big deal, but back then, it's like, it, it's not great. She infected quite a lot of people and even caused a cup, at least a couple deaths. And the kind of cause of these deaths got back to her being the basically patient zero and then people were basically like hey this is your fault fuck you and they basically made her a social outcast until she died which to be fair it wasn't really her fault like germ theory and personal hygiene weren't that big of a thing back then but she was basically socially outcasted for the rest of her life for being the patient zero that caused all these other people to get infected so yeah, very, very unfortunate for her, even more unfortunate for the few people that died because they ate her infected food and died from a very nasty illness. 
But yeah, typhoid fever, very nasty. Always wash your hands.